over 38.7 million hectare of India is covered by hot and cold arid regions, counted among one of the most densely populated deserts in the world. Our hot arid zones are bestowed with a unique biodiversity. With proven agricultural production potential, even under harsh climatic conditions. Within these arid zones, 31.7 million hectares are classified as hot, spread across the states of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, Punjab, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Telangana. 7 million hectares are classified as cold arid region in the states of Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. Despite severe limitations, innovative resource conservation practices developed by the local communities over the generations have immensely contributed to the sustenance of agriculture and animal husbandry in the region. The characteristic features of arid regions like high evapotranspiration, low soil fertility, severe land degradation, temperature extremes and high biotic pressure pose major challenges to agriculture. Soils are mostly coarse textured with undulating topography and with low water holding capacity. Good quality groundwater is also limited and often over exploited. To address these challenges effectively, Central Arid Zone Research Institute or KASRI has been continuing its journey of excellence for more than six decades. Thus, its mandates are The Institute operates through six research divisions and an All India Network project on vertebrate pest management addressing issues of arid ecosystems comprehensively with five regional stations providing location-specific solutions and three Krishi Vigyan Kendras focusing on dissemination of relevant technologies. During the initial years, the Institute initiated work on sand dune stabilization and conservation of natural resources and several species suitable for forestry from dry region of the world were also introduced. This work led to the development of techniques of windbreak and shelter belt plantations which are now being adopted as models for the African continent. Heavy sand drifts were checked due to reduction in incidence of sandstorms. This reduced covering of roads, railway tracks and canals along with reduction in soil loss from agricultural fields. Sustainable strategies to minimize the risk associated with farming in arid zone is the main focus of the institute. In order to accomplish this, several farming system models have been developed based on differential combination of crops, grasses, shrubs, trees and livestock taking cognizance of available natural resources, traditional wisdom and need of the farming community. Research is conducted at the Institute to increase crop yield levels in the region through propagating new short duration, high yielding, drought tolerant crop cultivars. Substantial quantities of seeds of improved crop and fodder grass varieties are being produced and distributed to the farmers. Drought adapted range grasses have a number of proven advantages in terms of providing nutritious fodder as well as improving soil health. The arid regions have an impressive variety of rangeland grasses, a live crop cafeteria and perennial species arboretum to demonstrate the comparative performance and characteristics of arid zone crop cultivars and perennial species for the benefit of the farming communities and to improve the awareness of various stakeholders. Mm -hmm. 
The institute has developed a model organic farm for production of sesame, mung bean, cumin and isab gold. In an arid ecosystem like ours, water is a scarce and precious resource. Even a small variation in magnitude and distribution of rainfall may create drought-like situations. Research efforts have been focused on both in-situ and ex-situ water conservation besides judicious management of water. This involves improving traditional local water harvesting structures like Tanka, Nadi and Khadins through the institute's interventions. Improved sub-storage structures have also been designed. Water collected in Khadin is utilized for livestock. Additionally, when the accumulated water recedes, Khadin are cultivated to grow winter season crop. Planting techniques for reducing the cost of pressurized irrigation systems for several fruit and vegetable crops have been developed and the use of drip and sprinkler irrigation is being emphasized since the 1970s. Production technologies related to protected cultivation are being continuously fine-tuned at the Institute. Research has been undertaken on different kinds of polyhouses and shade net houses under controlled conditions to achieve the objective of per drop more crop. Kazri is committed to put into maximum use the ample solar energy available in arid areas. This commitment has led to the development of many types of solar gadgets. An agrivoltaic system in which power generation, water harvesting and crop production is achieved from a single land unit has been a landmark achievement. A well-developed horticulture block caters to the need of conducting research on different aspects of arid fruits like bear, karonda, date palm, aula, bale, pomegranate, etc. Production techniques of these fruits developed by the Institute has benefited a large number of farmers of the region. The central nursery is providing good quality planting material of more than 40 species of horticultural and silvicultural importance in the region. The nursery has a capacity of producing annually more than 1 lakh saplings which are sold to farmers, developmental agencies and institutions. Besides harsh climatic conditions of arid regions, pests and diseases cause severe losses to the crops. The institute has developed various biocontrol agents for management of pests and diseases. Effective rodent management technologies developed by the institute are also being used successfully in the region. The economy of the region, which has substantial population of livestock, depends significantly on the multifaceted role played by them in providing livelihood support to the rural people. Kazri has also designed improved shelters to protect livestock from intense prevalent heat. Thus, to prevent adverse effect on their productivity, other achievements in the livestock management includes development of multi-nutrient blocks with low-cost ingredients for achieving 15 to 20 percent higher milk yields of dairy animals. To enhance the supply of fodder for livestock, the Institute has developed crop sequences to achieve high yields of nutritious green fodder round the year. Improved interculture and weeding equipments designed and developed by the Institute are proving to be very effective tools to reduce drudgery in agriculture. Augmenting farmer income through processing and value addition of products, more so from the underutilized desert plants, is another dimension on which the Institute is working. Some of these value additions have been granted patents. Upscaling of such technologies shall also generate employment opportunities in the rural and peri-urban areas. Better and sustainable methods of gum extraction from Kumat, Israeli Babul, Kawa and Vilaiti Babul trees have been developed. 
in the wake of depletion of local resources and consequent heavy dependence on import. Organo-mineral fertilizers from locally available material are also being developed and tested for their potential in improving crop yields. To make the best use of technologies and knowledge, it is necessary to take them to their clientele. Recognizing this, Kajri organizes and participates in a large number of fairs, exhibitions and demonstrations to upscale technologies and provide relevant technical knowledge to various stakeholders. The Institute is also using information and communication technologies effectively through its Android-based mobile app, Kazri Krishi. The Facebook page and website of the Institute is also disseminating valuable agro-meteorological advisories and weather alerts. Client connection is also facilitated through the Agricultural Technology Information Center or ATIC as a single window information center that caters to the needs of farming communities. Krishi Vigyan Kendras also play an important role in imparting training to farmers, including rural women and vendors of agricultural inputs. Kazri is ISO certified for its high standard of research and smart management practices. Over the years, Kazri has enhanced its research infrastructure to meet global standards. The Institute now features well-equipped laboratories, a 200-hectare state-of-the-art research farm having desert botanical garden, a technological park that demonstrates agrotechniques, a well-endowed horticulture block for added fruits, rain-out shelter, seed processing unit, and plant hardening facility. For guests as well as other academic visitors, the Institute has well organized meeting and stay facilities. This is strongly supported by an impressive selection of books, journals, and periodicals, both national and international, housed in the Raheja Library building. This building also has an online examination center with a capacity of over 100 examinees. Over the time, the Institute has developed strong linkages with other national and international research organizations. Today, Gazri stands tall with 60 years of global excellence through consolidated and comprehensive research for development of arid ecosystems. However, we believe our greatest achievement has been gaining the trust of the farming community, partners and other stakeholders, people who have been benefited from our work. Ours is a journey that has not only covered but redefined many milestones of hope and happiness into an arid landscape and continues with new vigor, zeal and commitment to improve system productivity and sustainability and subsequently improving the lives of countless people of the arid zones 